Okay, so this is a Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gig, running Raspbian. And uh, I got asked the other day in the comments about uh, Gparted, and uh, I don't think I've installed it on this yet, so I can install it separately. But it's basically uh, like a hard disk manager. You can, you can resize your partition. Now, why would you want to resize your partition? So if you download, uh, like I did the other day, uh, Damaso's 200 gig build of RetroPie, and I've also got the 128 gig build uh, and various other uh, RetroPies that people have made, various other operating systems that people have customized and then saved for people to download. Uh, and also Android is the same. Uh, so uh, the sort of common version of Android that runs on Raspberry Pi is also the same that when you get it, it is the size that they saved it as uh, on the card. So it kind of minimizes it so you have to download less. So let's install Gparted first to show you what I mean. Always do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade, which I've done already. Uh, and then you need to do sudo apt install Gparted. And this works on loads of different versions of Linux. So press yes and enter. And you can see it installs super quick. So we can close down terminal now and we can go to System Tools and you'll see Gparted comes up. So pop your password in. If you haven't changed it, it'll be Raspberry. And here you can see all I've got in my system is just this one SD card. Okay, so now if I put in my 128 gig stick, uh, which is a RetroPie build by Damaso, uh, which is full of uh, games and all sorts of things and is, is excellent. Uh, now, I don't think it recognizes you plugging in something extra. So what you need to do is go to Refresh Devices. And then you'll see that we end up with two devices. So we know the operating system's on a 32 gig stick. So we know that one's that. So 119.08 gig. And you can see that there's space at the end here. So when they save the image, uh, basically they save it to the smallest file possibly and this happens on loads of different builds so when you get it and you install it onto your card what it does is it creates almost exactly the same partition so if i had a 256 gig card then half of it would be unusable as it stands so all you need to do is you click on the partition and then right click and do resize and then just drag that slider all the way out and then hit resize move so that tells me what it's going to do, grow the uh, partition to 118 gig. So that's using the full space on there. And you can see there's a little white bit at the end showing that there is a little bit of space on there. So we hit tick uh, and then apply. So that's now going to apply the settings. Now the reason you need to do this is if there is no space, uh, and I had this with the 200 gig Damaso build, uh, putting on a 750 gig hard disk, which I'll show in a minute. Uh, basically, there was no space, so I would save the controller um, configuration uh, on startup. I would then restart and it would forget it. And it's because there was no data at all left to save that. And I also had problems with a black screen when trying to launch games. So now that I've expanded that, it, it works absolutely fine. And I've got loads of room to put loads more ROMs on if I choose. Um, but, uh, but it's just a good practice to get into. So if you get an image, open up Gparted, have a look and see if all the space is used. If you're installing something fresh like Raspbian or RetroPie, it will be absolutely fine. Uh, but if you're doing a build that someone else has made and saved and packaged up and put extras in, then you'll often find this is the case. Not always, but you'll often find it's the case. So definitely use Gparted to expand your partition. It's a great program. Obviously, it's completely free and uh, super simple to use. So that's all done. So I can hit close on that now. So now I can take my memory stick out. Probably best to eject it first normally. Uh, but I'll also plug in my 750 gig drive just to show you what that works like. So this is a physical hard drive, uh, which I've got a massive RetroPie build on. Uh, so if I plug that in, wait for a few seconds for it to spin up and hit refresh devices. And then you can see that I've now got 698 gig uh, and this, all this white is spare space, but when I had it, the, the line was right down here. 
So I've expanded that partition and so now I can run it and add extra games and, and not worry about, because operating systems need a bit of space to, to breathe and save things. So they're going to be unstable unless you do that. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.